What's up teachers, it's Nicola here, and welcome to the Ski Slope Model online course. I'd like to teach you how I've been able to flip my classroom instruction so that I can personalize my in-classroom experience. If we're unable to have that in-classroom experience, this is a great opportunity for you to practice putting your content online for your students to be able to access and move through in an asynchronous type of manner. Here we are on the Green Circle playlist. Now, as we move throughout the different levels, you'll learn more and more complexity about the ski slope model. As we go throughout the different pages, it's designed to model exactly what my classroom website looks like for my students. So you'll get the student experience of going through each playlist one at a time. Now to get started here, I wanna take you through the website. So here on the Green Circle playlist, you'll see that there are three different tasks with the fourth task here at the bottom being to take a level up quiz. Now, since this is just like the student experience, the level up quizzes are populated with some Google Forms, just like I use with my students. Go ahead and complete these Google Forms because this will give me some great insight to those teachers out there that are working on creating a ski slope model unit. At the end here, we summarize the assignments. In this particular playlist here, there are two things. Watch all the videos and do the level up quiz. You'll see that over and over again because this is just a lecture-based online course. Whereas in your classroom, there's going to be more assignments in this in the summary. The final thing then says to students, to you as a student, now that you've completed all of the tasks, go ahead and move on to the blue square tasks. I like to put a fun little gif here at the bottom to kind of tie us all in, give someone a nice smile, and to also provide some motivation. So you can go ahead and click into the blue square, and you'll see a very similar pattern again. These are all structured just like one another, where we have the long-term learning target to begin with. This is our overall learning target for the entire unit. Since we're in the blue square, there's also a blue square learning target because these tasks within the blue square will address this learning target. We have the tasks that are listed here, followed by a level up quiz that again is going to populate with some probing questions that I have for you as students. A couple assignments. Now that you've completed the tasks, move on to the black diamond. Look at that socially distanced high five. All right, moving on to the black diamond, long-term learning target. The indicator of what level we're on, the learning target for the black diamond, which is helping us achieve that long-term learning target. A list of tasks. Whereas task zero is, hey, great job. Way to get to the black diamond. There are a couple tasks here to complete, a couple of videos to watch, and again, the level up quiz will link you to a Google form. In my classroom, students must earn 100% on that level up quiz before they can move into the next portion of the unit, and that's why it's the last task here. It is the final end cap on each of the playlists. There'll be more about level up quizzes as we dig deeper into the ski slope model. So as you see, it's very similar. On the double black diamond, I like to add a couple extra gifts in here to kind of give some motivation for students to get here to the very end. I'm going to be uploading a video there to watch the video. And then finally, you can gain some access to some resources so that you can make a page that looks just like this without having to go through and actually build it from scratch. I'm designing a template for you so that you can actually use it and copy it and apply this framework into your classroom. So keep watching along so you can learn how to utilize these resources to flip your classroom. You won't be seeing me much anymore. Instead, I'll be coming to you from my tablet and stylus. I typically use the app that's titled Notability. I'll put that in the comments below, but otherwise... That's all for now. So keep digging in, dive deep, and I'll catch you in the next video.